I quickly realized going home straight after school was not benefiting me at all. Like my bed was calling me, all of a sudden I was hungry, I had all these problems. I was like, nope, I'm not going home after school. I'm going to go to the library where I won't be distracted, where I'll be focused. I'll have the you know, computer, I can print my homework, I can, you know. So I went to the library straight after school. I made a pattern of going to the library straight after school. So therefore, there's, I wouldn't be wandering anywhere else. So before we started hygiene school, they literally taught us kiss your families, kiss your friends, kiss kiss everybody goodbye because this whole semester you're gonna be busy. We're all looking at each other like they're just kidding. No, they were not kidding. You guys are gonna be busy. But the thing that you have to know is like you if you want to do this, you can do it. You have to be a hundred percent and you gotta be committed to it. You can't put one foot in, one foot out. Like you can't there can be a what if, like you have to put 100% in so that you could get 100% out, like I know it's tough because like everyone's stressed out around you, as long as you keep up, you stay organized, I think you should be fine. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I want to make the, the video how I studied in hygiene school, how my tips and tricks that helped me survive into hygiene school basically. Um, so yeah, um, a lot of people requested that video, so it's what I'm here to do. I rec first of all, I want to say I recorded this video. This is my third time recording this video. The first time I recorded this video, I wanted to just, you know, spill it out from the heart. But it turns out it's not that easy, you know. Um, they're, like, my thoughts were, like, all over the place. I just, I was like, okay, fine, I'm going to write down everything I wanted to say. So I wrote it down, and I typed it up on the computer. Guess what happened? I forgot to save it and I fell asleep and the computer died and yeah so I had to redo this all over again and this is like and the, this is actually the third time the first time I had shaved my head well my hair is still shaved but put on a wig um the second time I had the, this wig on but I didn't I wasn't too happy with the recording on how I did so now it's like my third and last time I have to put this video up because I know it will be helpful to some of you um, because had I had this video, I would have been like good for hygiene school, okay? I would have been good. So if you guys see me looking down, it's because I'm reading down my notes. I wrote a lot, okay? So I might break this video down into two different videos, but we'll see. So the other day, I was on Instagram and I scrolled down and I saw this video. It was so funny. I'm going to show you guys a clip of it. This literally describes me in the entire hygiene school, okay? Every time the exam comes, every time, like, I would prepare myself, like, 98% of the time, except for that one time where I had no idea there was an exam the next day, and within 24 hours, like, luckily, I had reviewed this stuff, like, I had, like, I went to class, you know, it wasn't unfamiliar, um, it was not an unfamiliar topic, I had reviewed everything, um, let me make sure this is recording, hold on. Okay, good. Luckily that day, like, luckily for that particular chapter, I had gone to class, took notes, and I had everything with me, but I, f I was freaking out. Within 24-hour period, I was able to, like, study and get a B for the course. Oh, my God. For, I think it was three chapters. I remember, but it was, like, a horrific day. I was freaking out, needless to say. So... Um, when hygiene school started, I was not prepared for what we went through. I was so tired all the time, but I got used to it. You know, everybody gets used to it, and then you get into the habit of, like, how tough it is, and it's, it's nothing. Like, mid-semester, you're just like, yeah, we all used to it. We all used to not getting enough sleep, so we all used to, like, all you gotta do is just gotta make sure that you're taking care of yourself, because if you're not taking care of yourself and you're not getting enough sleep, it's just, like, it's a recipe for disaster. Okay, so somebody literally found me sleeping in broad daylight. Like, I sat on a bench, and I was just like, let me just sit there and rest. And all of a sudden, I just kept, I just started feeling like 
comfortable like oh my god I'm, I'm sitting down I'm resting for the first time this whole day I've been so stressed out and then I was just like this like I was dozing off and somebody literally found me it was one of the students that are um, in the class um, yeah she found me dozing off she was like Karen are you sleeping like yeah I am I'm so tired <laughs> yeah so before we started hygiene school they literally taught us kiss your families kiss your friends kiss kiss everybody goodbye because this whole semester you're gonna be busy we're all looking at each other like they're just kidding no they were not kidding you guys are gonna be busy but the thing that you have to know is like you if you want to do this you can do it you have to be a hundred percent and you got to be committed to it you can't put one foot in one foot out like you can't there can be a what if like you have to put a hundred percent in so that you could get a hundred percent out like I know it's tough because like everyone's stressed out around you as long as you keep up you stay organized I think you should be fine um also the environment that I prefer to study I quickly realized going home straight after school was not benefiting me at all like my bed was calling me all of a sudden I was hungry I had all these problems I was like nope <laughs> I'm not going home after school. I'm gonna go to the library where I won't be distracted. Where I'll be focused. I'll have the you know computer. I can print my homework. I can, you know. So I went to the library straight after school. I made a pattern of going to the library straight after school. So therefore, there's I wouldn't be wandering anywhere else. This is what I wanted to say. If you can get into dental hygiene school because the prerequisites are not easy courses. If you can get into dental hygiene school, you can definitely make it out. So. It's a very competitive program. If you're going to apply to get in, why not finish it? You know, you, I mean, I can understand certain, life, certain circumstances in life, but you just have to, like, put all your eggs in that dental hygiene basket and finish it. Um, also, like, I understand there are certain other circumstances in life that could lead you to um delay it but i feel like it's definitely worth it you should definitely try to finish um finish the program if you do get in i heavily that's the one thing i heavily relied on um tape recorders i recorded my lectures with the permission of my teacher okay you can't record people without their permission that is illegal you gotta ask if you can do it if you can get into dental hygiene school you can get out it's a process don't rush it you have the guidance of the people by your side right um once you know the dental hygiene school you're gonna have questions you know um when you're out, out there in the real world by yourself you're gonna have questions um so while you end the school take advantage of that like take advantage of having you know your teachers around you if they are telling you something that you're doing that's not right don't be so defensive, you know what I mean? Like, take it, you know, it's a guidance. They're trying to guide you into the right direction. So you, you're going to have to learn to take criticism from people you want to be like. Like, you want to be like your teacher. Your teacher is a dental hygienist. You have to take that criticism because they are seeing you outside of yourself. They're seeing what you're, you're capable of. They're trying to guide you to get where you need to be. Because I've seen a lot of people who don't like taking criticism they think they're doing it right yeah I'm doing it right I feel like I'm doing no that's not the way to learn that's it's not gonna help you get to where you need to be so that's what I wanted to say um yeah like I was saying I heavily relied on tape recorders and PowerPoint uh, PowerPoint to like clip notes the professor will have the most important um, parts of you know the chapters on the PowerPoint Okay, first I want to talk about studying patterns. How do you prefer to study? Do you like to study by yourself? Do you like to study in a group? Um, I personally, I like studying by myself. That way I can cancel out all the noise and focus on what I need to do. Once I read the material, look up words that I don't, not, I'm not familiar with, and I write down my questions, then I can go into a group discussion and talk about it. Um, I don't like to just not know what I'm talking about and just go read with other people because it's just it disturbs me because we start talking about other things so I don't um, like studying with other people I guess I prefer to do it by myself and then we could meet up as a group 
because that way I have, um, well, we did tutoring basically. We would meet up with a tutor and we would ask the tutor questions and then they would um, help us like with our questions and then somebody else would ask and a question that you might have, might have not thought of and then you could learn from that question. So that, that was very helpful. Um, I also say to teach, to try teaching it to others, like when you meet up as a group if somebody needs help and you know something, you try to teach it to them because that helps you learn it. So you, when, when once you can teach it, you learn it twice. You, t you learn it for yourself and you also taught it to somebody else. So it reinforced it in your mind. So yeah, if somebody needs help and you can do it, try to help them out with that because it also helps you too. Um, um, and also what time of the day do you prefer to study? that would help you. Are you a morning person or you're a night owl? If you're a morning person, I'll do the most difficult task in the morning. So therefore, throughout the day, if you're tired, you could handle the not so difficult task, you know? Um, if you're not owl, the same thing, do your most difficult task at night because that's when you're, you have, you know, your energy. So that's when you should do it. Um, also, the environment that I prefer to study. I quickly realized going home straight after school was not benefiting me at all like my bed was calling me all of a sudden i was hungry i had all these problems i was like nope i'm not going home after school i'm gonna go to the library where i won't be distracted where i'll be focused i'll have the you know computer i can print my homework i can you know so i went to the library should after school i made a pattern of going to the library should after school so therefore there's i wouldn't be wandering anywhere else um so yeah also when you're studying, turn off your cell phone, you know, people are texting, calling you, you're being distracted, next thing you know, two hours go by, goes by, you're on the phone, you're on social media, you don't want that, put your phone away, so stay clear of distractions. Um, oh, okay, so there's a study that shows that if you spend one hour um, in a classroom per week, let's say you have, um, oh, okay, let's say three hours, let's say you have concepts in dental hygiene Monday Wednesday Friday and you spend one hour um, in those classes so so that's three hours right so you, you do concepts Monday Wednesday Friday so that's three hours so you're supposed to be studying supposed to spend two twice as much time studying um I feel like I study a lot more okay because all this stuff was very new to me and I was trying to learn as much as I can so I, I spent a lot more so you should spend at least two hours minimum studying for um, those classes um, so two hours per hour that you spend in a classroom so you should be spending two hours studying minimum but I did a lot more because I felt like I needed it um, While you, uh, another thing I would say while you're studying, take breaks because you could be so overwhelmed sitting there studying so much that at a certain point, like your brain is no longer useful, your brain is saturated, it's overwhelmed, it needs a break. You need to walk out, take a break, walk outside, talk, call someone, make sure you're timing yourself, like give yourself like 10, 15, 20 minutes a break. You could talk to someone and get back into work. You know, take breaks, otherwise you're just, at a certain point, if you keep studying, you're just wasting your time because you're not taking a break, you're just studying, and you're not really absorbing any information. So it doesn't really make much sense to keep, you know, literally like torturing yourself. So that's what I feel. Um, another thing I would say about studying patterns, find two ways to implement studying time in your schedule. Um, like... I would say, like when I when I would go to the gym, right? I would listen to recordings of lectures in class, right? And I would also listen to lectures while I am, you know, doing tours at work because I was a security officer. So I would um, I would do tours and I'll be listening to my lectures. If I were at the laundromat doing some laundry, listening to lectures, okay. If I were cooking I would be listening like I would constantly try to incorporate ways to make sure I know the material okay because there are five courses and you gotta stay on top of each course because some courses are more difficult 
I would focus more on the more difficult course. Yes, I would pay attention to not so difficult course because it becomes difficult once you don't know the material. So make sure you're staying on top of all of your courses. Other people like flashcards. You can walk around with your flashcards. If you're not doing anything, pull out your flashcards and start reviewing. You know, that helps. But again, if I'm looking down, I have wrote a lot of information. Okay, guys, I got y'all. Yeah, like I was saying, exams are popping up left and right. You have to stay on top of all your subjects. Seek tutoring if you're struggling ASAP. You don't want to wait till two days before the exam because you're going to be so overwhelmed. Like, your brain's not going to be able to process anything. Like, you're just going to be freaking out all the time. Um, yeah, so make sure you stay organized and you stay on top of your studies and you go to tutoring ASAP, go to office hours if you have questions. If you are struggling, you should have a lot of questions. That is that is what I say because um, you should sometimes I can understand like you could be so overwhelmed. You don't know what questions you have. I've been there. Okay. I'm like, I'm so overwhelmed. I just need a hug. I don't know. Yeah. So I've been there. Like, I just need a hug. I need guidance. I want some cookies and I want to go home. No, I didn't want to go home. I wanted to be comfortable. I wanted to be independent. I wanted, you know, I wanted to, you know, be able to provide for myself. So I hung in there. So yeah, like I was saying, seek, seek tutoring if you're struggling. Um, have a sheet full of questions. Listen, I would go to office hours with a sheet full of um paper full of questions some professors will be looking at me like she's weird I, I know she needs help and please help her <laughs> okay um and focus on all subjects okay or monday do these two subjects tuesday do these two and then just switch it around just keep up all of your exam because if you don't pass one class you're gonna have they're gonna kick you out of, out of the um program okay that's how it is so that's what i'm saying this all right, now that we've gone through one sheet of paper, we got another one. I have like four. Yeah, this video is definitely going to be two, two parts.